Hi everyone, how are you doing? It's me, I had to remake my whole video. Oh my gosh, I accidentally pushed the wrong button. But this time, I am, I hope this works out. Um, I propped my cell phone up with um, uh, acrylic paint, a big industrial roll that had some ribbon on it and a ruler. Yeah, it's not a pretty invention, but it's working. I got some mail today, and it came from Terry, not Terry, ah, Suzanne, the rest of this video. Okay, there's going to be a part for Terry, and this is Suzanne's part. She sent me this lovely, lovely card. Look at it. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. I love the way she did this. Did you use a die cut on this? This is absolutely gorgeous. She embossed it and everything. I want one of these corner punches so bad. I don't have any corner punches like this. This is, oh my God. Even the back of it is just as beautiful as the front. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Now I am going to go on to Terry. Okay. Terry wanted to know how I embossed my book. You don't have to spend a lot of money. The cheaper the better because if it's cheap, I'm there. I am a bargain shopper. I don't like spending a lot of money on anything. I get a lot, but I don't like spending a lot. But these here you can get over in the art section and they come in a pack like this. They're shaders. But you can also use them for embossing. My thing would be if you do it, um, take the end of one of these because they're pretty sharp and you'll poke a hole through what you're working on and kind of like flatten them down. You see how I did that? Oh, my air kicked on. Yes, it's February and I've got the air conditioner on. Ah! But anyway, sorry for those up north. <laughs> but our, this is a makeup um, Q-tip that adapter that you can use to put your makeup on. I like these because it's got two ends. It's got a point and a dull. You can take it and look, you can get it in there and you can really rub hard and you don't need to worry about, you know, poking a hole or anything like that. And it works just as good as those as these. These were only like four dollars or so. But um and that's how it works. So and you can just go in there with that little small one and get in there. And for the bigger areas, you just use the flat one. It's got a little hole, little divot right there. Put your finger in there and just rub. And um, also to pause, I got your cards made. I'm going to finish this book up. And when I'm finished with this book, this book will be on its way to you. This is going to be your book for being so patient with me because I've been super duper busy and I haven't had time to send out your card or anything and you've been so patient love you thank you but okay I'll finish that one up and now Terry wanted to know about distressing how I distress some of my stuff to make it look the way I do okay this is just a regular plain ink distressing or shading and stuff it's just changing the edges and smoothing it out Okay, the way I do it, sometimes I use one of these with the um, four different files on it, depending on how rough you want it. On something like this, I would go back and forth like this, and I would just distress it because usually sometimes your paper has some kind of a coating on it. And it's also got different layers and stuff. And you'd be surprised the colors that you can come out with once you um, take off a couple layers. You got several different colors. You can change the shading, as you can tell. 
I've changed the shading on this one. Wipe it off. And when you do this, if you have asthma or anything, please wear a mask because this is going to be really fine dust and it's going to get up in your nose. For this one, haha, -ha, my other video I had, I couldn't use my, um, my, ah, oh, crap. I forgot the name of it. Sorry. <sighs> but it keeps your fingers clean. <laughs> it's to help you with your ink pads. But I just go around the edge. And I like to use about three or four different colors. And what you can do is just take it and just rub it on there. And blend it. It depends on how harsh that you want your colors to be on there. You can blend it and always have a um, scrap piece of paper or something that's really easily cleaned to work on. Okay, I used my Frost White from Cat Eyes and I'm going to go down here and I'll use some glitter. Well, silver. That, yeah, it's called silver. D! And I'll use that. I'm going fast. And then what I would do probably is since this is a um, a green color, let's blend this up a little bit. Uh, let's go and put some bronze just to add a little bit of a a dark color to the edges. I don't know how good you all can see this because like I said I'm on my cell phone and I've done the man-made thing but I got these inks for um, like four dollars at Michaels and when you work with inks um, just remember to come back and cover them. I love my cat eyes. I really, really do. My cat eyes are so, so awesome. And I also like my mixed media ink. You'll see it here in a second. I tape all my stuff up when I go to work. That way, when I put them in my box, well, when I put them in my work case, um, I don't have to worry about them popping open, but I like these inks too because the pad works really, really good. Just pick it up and you can do like that. See? Put your lid back on there. Keep it from drying up because sometimes these pads can dry up very, very quick and you'll see how that's changed. A little bit and it looks kind of like a rust color I don't know what you would think it looks like but on my side the color looks a lot different and then I would take a spray let me see I'm trying not to move my here it is my um, shimmer mist right here I would take it it's it's a white let me I usually spray, I got a box I use for my sprays. <coughs> oh, let me get my paper towel out. But this is the shimmer mist. I just sprayed it on there and you'll see it shimmering. Leave it sit and then if you pat it off, sometimes you get the pattern of your rag that you're using just to wipe it off. And right there would be a really cool tag. I'll finish that up and Terry I'll send it to you when I get it done. That way you can see what I'm talking about. Okay the different one is called a tearing. That's where you take it and you tear it like this and you just tear it and just leave a little bit of the lacing right here and the good thing about this is let's see let's since it's Valentine's let's use our pink okay 
and just lightly, 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 lightly tap it. And then once again, let's get our buffer. Whoa, I had different colors on there. I forgot to change my pad. That did not come out right. But anyway, ooh, that's pretty though. Let's get this wet. I'll use some of my shimmer mist to wet it. And sometimes these inks, when you wet them, they automatically blend. Okay, this one isn't working so good. <laughs> you just saw me flop on my face. But anyway, if you did it right, it will look like this and everything. Ugh, let me see. Let me get a new one. I was a fell. I am so, so sorry. How far am I? I'm 10 minutes. Okay. Oh, Terry, I get one of these big, um, big watercolor books like this, and it comes with, um, 18 sheets, and what I do is I get a playing card, and I measure it out, and I just cut it, because you get two of these for, like, four dollars at Hobby Lobby. So... And they're just as good. They're watercolor and everything. Okay, let's do this all over again. So we're going to rip this. <laughs> oh, even though I don't like the way that ripped, it didn't rip good enough for me. I like to try to get a lot of that excess layering of paper because it adds more of a, a texture to it. Oh no, I've lost my... There it is. You can take, and I'll show you how to use one of these. And yes, I did turn it over. See? And you just lightly, you just start smearing it in there. And you've got to remember, this is a watercolor um, paper. So it's going to add a little bit more of a texture to it. And let's come back over. I already start using this in the last video. And then you can take it and just blend it. There you go. Now it's working okay. See, anytime I use ink or anything, I usually wear gloves. It's an inside joke. Thank you, Sean. Yes, Lady Jarhead. I am out of gloves. <laughs> so, I haven't been able to do any of my alcohol ink. And with this technique, you can do this all the way around this card with this technique and then you can make a smaller card and take this card and stick it in the middle of another card and just make layers and build it up like that and it turns out very pretty and it makes a very pretty card and in the middle since it is Valentine's Day I would take and put a heart a little um, rhinestone heart in the middle of it after I built this card up. As a matter of fact, I think I will make one just to show everybody how it looks by the time it is done. If you all would like to like me to make one and show you, let me know and I'll get busy on it and stuff. So, I'll let everybody go. So, peace out and toodles. Oh my gosh, my woman-made rig actually works. Yay for the lady. <laughs> but I hope this helped you out, Terry. And thank you so much, Susan, for my card. Oh my God, it's actually beautiful, 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 beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. Thank you. Terry, I want to be the first person to get one of your ATCs. I don't care. You challenged me to that you you said that you were going to send me something really small and tedious to make and you wanted to see if I could do it. All those little rhinestones that you got for 99 cents that you do not know how, what to do with. Actually, I do know what to do with them. So <laughs> write me, well, PM me and let me know if you're going to accept my challenge because I accepted yours. I'm making something with those little bitty whatever you're going to send me. So, I'll challenge you. You challenge me. My turn. Game on. Yeah!
But this time, I won't unplug the lights for the Super Bowl game like I did last night. Yes, it was me. I snuck in. I unplugged it. I pulled the plug. No, actually, they forgot to pay the electric bill. <laughs> Somebody's credit card didn't go through. <laughs> they forgot to pay the PayPal. Sorry, okay, I could go on. But anyway, peace out, toodles. Bye, everybody.